Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another Disney princess look that will be in the Disney bounding lookbook at the end of the month. Uh, today, I need to like adjust here. There we go. Today I'm doing Mulan, there's no wig with this one since my hair is already dark. I just threw it in a messy bun and threw in a bow in the back that kind of goes with the color scheme because I am going based off of Mulan's warrior look so when she is pretending to be ping that is the look that i'm going for so we're going to be using a lot of greens and kind of neutrals today so let's get started so to start this look i'm going in with young love from the aura and out palette by ColourPop, and we're just going to start by placing this right under our eyebrows so it's going to be a nice bright highlight but it's going to also create a good gradient and blend as we move on with the shadows. This is like my new favorite matte white shadow and I'm so happy I found it because now when I'm doing my makeup on camera, I don't have to use my matte white from a brand that we no longer support on this channel. So just blend this out into the Just My Luck palette, which is the green focus one. And we're going to go into Chances Are, which is this minty color using the same big fluffy brush. And we're gonna lay this down as our transition color. The very light pastel. So her look in this part of the movie is very neutral. Obviously it's her armor kind of part of the movie and it was really hard to pick a Mulan look because she has three or four that you see so I kind of went with this one because I know a lot of people do her matchmaker look and also the outfit she wears at the very end when she is fighting Sean Yu for the last time which I thought about but then I decided I didn't want to do more blue I wanted to do greens for the crease color i'm going into act natural which is in the just my luck palette it's this really nice kind of emerald green which we see on like her lapels i'm just placing this really gently into the crease then buffing it in i haven't done a green look in a while i feel like so I'm trying to use up a lot of my makeup like yesterday I ran out of brow pencil so I'm gonna use like powder today because I feel like I'm neglecting some of the other products I have because I just keep going to my staples when I have so much stuff that I've barely touched so I'm gonna take the same brush we just used and I'm gonna go into big banks which is this shimmery green and tap this on the outer V right up to the crease. So we're just gonna pack this shade on. And I'm kind of putting it on at a diagonal so it'll kind of cut into the middle of the lid. So just start on the outer V and tap down to your eyelashes. And just make sure it's soft at the edge. Then I'm going to use all of you with the same brush. And this is obviously a more all of these shadow. And I'm going to take this right to the line where the crease starts, but not all the way up like we did with Big Banks. So this is going to be right in the middle. To finish the eyes out, I'm going into Fresh Cut in the Aura and Out palette. And we're gonna add that to the last third of the eye. So I just did a small wing and I put on some mascara. I'm gonna do my foundation first and then I will do my lashes and brows, but I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. 
I love this foundation and I haven't used it in forever. I just repurchased and this is like freshly opened. I love this little dill foot thing to just spread the product out so I don't have to do as much blending. I love that. I'm color F4 by the way. So it's like fair four. And we're gonna blend this out. Oh, how I have missed this foundation. It's so light and creamy and wonderful. We're just gonna use the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. I really like this concealer. It does a really nice job of hydrating. It's their Hyaluronic Concealer. So it's got the hyaluronic acid in it so that it doesn't dry out and get really like crepey under your eyes. And I just put a little bit on my chin and on my cupid's bow as well. But it just blends so nice with every foundation I've used. And it's so... It almost has like a cooling sense to it when you put it on too. I love that for concealers. Something just light and creamy and wonderful, just like this foundation. So I'm going to contour with my Physicians Formula Nude Wear, but I did my eyebrows with pencil and, every, or not with pencil, with powder. And every time I do them with powder, I remember how much I like doing my eyebrows with powder and how I think they look better on me this way. And then I buy brow pencils. I'm, I'm not buying any more brow pencils. We're just gonna do powder from now on. But I also say that every time. Okay, I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. And I should mention for these videos, like, I am not trying to make myself look like the character's features. I'm just copying their color scheme and kind of the general palette and motif that they have because that's what Disney bounding is. Like how when Halloween season comes, that's when I'll try and look like a character. All right, so I threw my lashes on. For blush, I'm going to use Yummy Cookies from ColourPop. It's just kind of my most neutral kind of color. Just adds a good amount of, like, not peachy, but it's a little bit darker than my skin tone. Could probably be classified maybe as a bronzer, especially because pretty pale. So I am Blending this out with the brush. This is also gonna be my highlighter for my cheeks because as you can see, I'm already glazed donut-y. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the same brush and go into Hippo from ColourPop. Just the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, little chin, little hair, little hair, da da da. And then under the eyes, I'm going to take this brown pencil from Physicians Formula. Yes, I popped my nails off in between doing things because they were starting to fall off. And we're just gonna line that waterline up. For lips, I'm gonna go with two products today. I'm using Blushing Beige from L'Oreal. This is just a lipstick. Kind of a on the peachier side of nude. And then I'm gonna throw a gloss on top. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Glazy Days. It's more of a pink dark nude. And this is it. So if you guys want to see the outfit that goes with this look, make sure you subscribe and check out the lookbook at the end of the month. 
and I think there will be at least six Disney characters in it. So if you want to see that, like this video, let me know that you're going to stick around for it down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.